Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In this tutorial we will work the cloud sweater. This is the sweater that I just uh, wasn't expected to work because I used uh, two types of uh, bulky weight yarn. I worked this sweater in two samples and it's a size 5 yarn but we would use a 15 millimeter crochet hook I didn't expect it to be uh, to work actually to be able to make a sweater with 15 millimeters crochet hook I never thought about it and I'm actually pretty pleased with the final result um, a thing that it's about this yarn is that uh, the density is different than um, most uh, common uh, bulky weight yarn. Uh, this particular yarn comes, uh, comes in um, 100 grams balls and it has 260 meters. So almost the yardage per grams is uh, almost equal with a DK weight yarn which is amazing. So maybe if you're working with a common uh, bulky weight yarn, then uh, you will need um, uh, the the sweater will be heavier. I'm working the sweater in size small, and to begin with, we will start with 30 chain stitches, and we will chain one more. I didn't join the foundation chain because I will just work a single crochet row to be easier and make sure that the chain won't twist it. My stitches won't be twisted when I need to finish the row. So just single crochet in each of the 30 stitches. And then we will simply start joining with the first uh, single crochet. This sweater will be worked entirely in half double crochet stitch, so we will only work on edging in single crochet and slip stitches. So to do so, you can either, uh, either work in continuous round in spiral, or you can chain two and start working into the second stitch and chain two will count as a first single uh, half double crochet or you can chain two and start into the same stitch or I did this uh, stitch at the beginning with two single crochet one in top of the other so and we will do an invisible slip stitch at the end so now the first row the repeater section will be two half double crochet and one increase. The increase is with two half double crochet into the same stitch. And we will repeat the section 10 times. So two half double crochet or one half double crochet into the next two stitches and then two half double crochet in next and we will repeat until the end of the round. Now this is the invisible slip stitch. So remove the hook from the loop, insert the hook from back to front, grab the loop and pass it from front to back. And then we will start into the first stitch with the same single crochet then grab the uh, one leg of the single crochet and make another single crochet. And this is counting as a first half double crochet. Now the second round from my repeated pattern will be without increasing. So we will increase at every other row or round. So on this second round we will have one half double crochet into each stitch. I work the half double crochet stitches in between the stitches. I found it easier this way. But um, you can work uh, as a regular through those uh, two loops or those V's. Now I'm doing again the invisible slip stitch which in this particular yarn is not that invisible because the beginning of the row uh, have, has not the same color as the end of the row. So then the uh, 
the joining line is pretty visible because of that. That's why if you're working with uh, self stripping yarn, maybe it's better to work in continuous rounds. Now we will increase again and we will start with the increase this time and we will work two half double crochet and then one half double crochet into the next three stitches this time. So with every increase round we will increase the number of stitches between two increases with one. So now we have three between the increases or the uh, repeated section is three half double crochet one increase or one increase three half double crochet and the next increase round will be with four and then with five and then with six and we will repeat but remember that between two increase round rounds we will have one round without increasing and we will have ten rounds in total without counting the first single crochet round so now I finished 10 rounds and basically my last increase round was with 6 half double crochet and 1 increase so 8 stitches multiplied by 10 I have 80 stitches after finishing the yoke and now we will split the yoke into sleeves and body the first stitch in the round is the first stitch of our back panel and we will work 27 stitches. After 27 half double crochet I will chain 2 for the armpit and then we will skip 13 stitches which are the sleeve stitches. And then we will work again 27 half double crochet for the front panel. After finishing 27 stitches for the front panel we will chain 2, skip the sleeve stitches so until the end of the round you should have 13 stitches for the second sleeve and join into the first stitch in the round. And now we will continue working uh, the body round until we will get to the desired length. I did a crop version of this sweater uh, because I like it like this but also because I only had two balls of this yarn so I had to um, make it as short as possible but also not that short so to be a sweater but <laughs> not that short but also to have enough yarn to uh, make the sleeves so I worked in total for the body 13 rounds but of course if you have more yarn <laughs> or uh, you want it longer you can work more rounds for the body when you're getting to the armpit chain don't forget to work uh, the stitches into the chain at the armpit half double crochet so you will have two half double crochet at the armpit then working uh, into the last chain stitches and now we will join and we will continue to repeat this round until we will have uh, 13 rounds in total or until you will get to the desired length. Okay, so this is what we have so far. Now we will continue and adding more rounds to the length. 
and then we will start working on the sleeves okay I already worked the sleeve I finished one ball of yarn and then I said okay maybe it will be a good idea to start working on the sleeves and see how much yarn I will have left for the body so I already worked one sleeve and now we will work together the second one so we will rejoin the yarn at the armpit I will go in between the two stitches uh, that we worked at the armpit and then I will go with uh, a chain one just to secure the yarn and I will go with the same stitch as uh, at the beginning but for the first sleeve I tried to go into continuous round because I didn't like it that uh, the colors at the beginning of the round didn't match the color at the end of the round so I just started to work in continuous round when you are getting into the side row which is the separated side row you can work two half double crochet together if you don't want to add extra stitches to the sleeve or you can simply go with one half double crochet into each round in the end I noticed that it's better to add those stitches otherwise the sleeve was um, to uh, not too tight because there was uh, enough room but I like it better with <laughs> a bit larger so either you're working two uh, half double crochet together or work uh, into those uh, into that side row you can work one half double crochet and now I will show you how to go into continuous round so instead of uh, joining with the slip stitch at the end of uh, the round into the first stitch you can simply go and work one half double crochet I didn't like it here because uh, this gap is uh, uh, carrying over here so I will go with another half double crochet just to make sure that I won't have that gap over there and then again I will go right into the first stitch with a half double crochet use a stitch marker to mark the first stitch because it will be helpful when you will need to count uh, the rounds if you are not following uh, the specific uh, row counts as mine because I work for the sleeve 21 rounds or 10, 22 um, then you can simply go without counting and see when the sleeve uh, has a desired length so I will go around and just uh, work this uh, sleeve and here when you're finishing the first round you just simply go into that stitch into the first stitch and work the first half double crochet and of course it's uh, better to uh, place the stitch marker into the first uh, stitch with every round so you don't miss it and to be easier to count them let's uh, finish the sleeve and see what about the edging okay so I finished the length of the sleeve and now I want the hem of the sleeve to be a bit smaller I uh, do the same with the bottom hem of the sweater so I'm changing into a 9 millimeter crochet hook you can use a 9 or a 10 millimeter crochet hook I think a 8 will be a bit too small but you can try it and work in each stage one single crochet I think uh, about this yarn because maybe you will notice also it's a bit fluffy so maybe that's why it's uh, uh, listed as a bulky weight yarn but uh, the strand itself it doesn't look that thick so I would suggest to try with any yarn using this 15 millimeter crochet hook and see how the fabric will end I'm super curious how it will look with something uh, some kind of a different yarn for the second row of the edging uh, we will slip stitch into each stitch and this will be it 
basically with the sleeve I'm not adding any other rounds but of course if you want uh, this edging to be thicker then you can add a few more rounds in uh, slip stitches in back loop only or slip stitches simple now cut the yarn and we finish the sleeves now I think I will have enough yarn to continue working on the body but uh, I did a mistake which I let it in the video because maybe if I will uh, take this off from the video you will think to about to do the same so I was just uh, going with slip stitches around the neckline with the same 9mm crochet hook as for the bottom hem and the sleeve but uh, the neckline end up being too small after uh, the slip stitches so I was able to dress the sweater but it was pretty 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 difficult to get it through my head so if you think to do this um, edging on the neckline as well maybe use a bigger crochet hook if you want to do it in slip stitches or try to avoid with, uh, slip stitches because um, yeah I'm using them when I want to uh, make something smaller for example if you feel like the neckline of a sweater just uh, stretched in time you can use slip stitches around it and it's back okay so maybe you should uh, use only sli single crochet, crochet stitches or let it like get this or maybe trying to use uh, slip stitches but with a bigger hook so yeah basically this was about the cloud sweater I hope you enjoyed this tutorial it was an unexpected tutorial because I wasn't expected to um, for you to ask for it so here it is I hope you enjoyed it and bye